Fiction, and welcome to another episode of Friends, Facts, and Fiction. As always, this podcast is made possible by our local convenience stores, the misappropriation of history, and you. And now to your hosts, Justin Hammonds, Brant Bramlett, and Drew Shellnut. What's up? What's happening, world? This is a podcast called Friends, Facts, and Fiction. Uh, season four, The More to Explore, episode two. Today we're talking about the Greenland shark. I'm going to let Drew dive into those hot facts. Uh, I'm Justin Hammonds. I'm looking at my boy Drew Shona. Yeah. And <laughs> my boy Grant Bram. Dude, if you guys only knew what it was like before we started recording, you know what I mean? <laughs> All the little lead up stuff right until the moment, you yeah. know, when Justin goes into, <laughs> yeah. I got my Showtime voice on. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. I mean, there's a teeny tiny sneak peek at the very end of the episode, but yeah. the rest of it, it's good. It's good. Mm, behind it's good. the curtain. I like behind the curtain more than uh, the curtain. Yeah. You know? mm. yeah. But the curtain's good. Curtain so is good. The, the curtain one is good. of the co hosts of the podcast said he likes the. Makings of it more than doing it. Yeah, it's, it's a no. <laughs> I think that's Take great. That. No, you, it, you need at Take least in the, in the one of those on. guys in the group. Yeah, yeah. The guy that likes the work more than the actual payoff. <laughs> it's very important. No, yeah. you know. No, yeah. this is true. This is very yeah. true. Um, but yeah, hope y'all been doing good out there. Um, you know, we took a week off out of nowhere, but we needed it. Uh, you know, for life because life is still happening. All around us. I almost died. Yeah. (laughs) Drew's going through some shit. Uh, Everybody was tired from (laughs) wedding season and all the wild shit that's happening out here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a whole lot. Yeah. A whole whole lot, lot. bro. A whole lot. Yeah. I mean, a bunch of shit. So Drew almost died. Drew almost uh, died. Care to elaborate? Yeah, I do. Um, uh, I want to tell these people what the fuck's wrong with me. Uh Um, I, I, yeah, uh, my stomach is killing me. Um, for all you out there, um, you should not, well, or should, you know, you know, well, it's up to you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Drink and smoke and snort and coke all you want to. <laughs> but, uh, after a while, it fucking catches up to you. Mm-hmm. It does. We're getting and, older. And, uh, 34 years later, I have the thing called the GERD. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what that means, it means look it up. Um, it's not fun. It's not cool. Not fun at all. It put me back probably about three thousand dollars at work, mm-hmm. not working, and because uh, I have a decent job now, um, it just so happens that life steps in and puts its greasy little fucking toes in my uh, making of the money. But yeah, if you've got some shit going on with your stomach, fucking get that shit checked out because it's fucking serious. And the more that you don't get it checked out. The more it exacerbates itself and kind of domino affects the rest of your body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I have a ex bandmate, still a good friend, and you know we collaborate every now and again. But it's Crohn's disease, and uh, oh my god, he was he's, he's a tall guy. Yep. But Jack Skellington for a little while, and uh, pretty sure he spent more time on the toilet than anywhere else. Yeah. For a minute. You yeah. know what I mean? It was it was horrible. But, you know, he's eating right. Um, I think meditation is a huge thing for yeah. him. Um, obviously, with, yeah. with, with gut issues, stress is a really, really big one, you know. And he's kind of got the, the stress in check. He's got the diet in check. And I think he's doing some medications, if but so much lighter than what he was doing because <laughs> he was on some pretty... Um, powerful medications for a second kind of steroid uh based you know and one time i found him out in the front yard at like seven o'clock in the morning apparently he hadn't gone to sleep barefoot mm. pants no anything else you know yeah just walking around picking up dog shit in the front yard in like late november early december yeah. weather you know, I'm like, That's dude, wild. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He's like, You're somebody's got to do this. This is your dog. You got it. And I was like, I didn't know that we needed to pick up the dog shit. <laughs> I, go inside, put on a coat, and I will finish this up. You know, <laughs> yeah. it, it was, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. He had a he had a go of it, but fucking kicking ass now. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's all about yeah. sending yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? For sure. 
Get your shit in check. But yeah, and uh, on top of that, I have a blood pressure of 177 over, I think, 110, mm. Mm. which is apparently really good, guys. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> that's not true. That's not good. If enough. anybody doesn't know, that's that's real, real bad. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm sitting on a heart attack. So yeah, you know, I'm 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 here right now. So listen. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but hey, <Shit>. dog. <laughs> uh, you got you a wife to look after. I do. Let's, let's I keep do. you around for a little while. And that's 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 actually been my main like uh, concern. Uh, which is also for you folks out there. You know, I just got married and such. Well, uh, that shit sets mm-hmm, you in a different mm-hmm. fucking mindset. Um, Isn't it weird? It's kind of fucking weird. It's kind of fucking weird. I'm looking for little ones of me running around now, which is kind of weird too. Um, yeah, because I never wanted that. Now I do. I ain't thinking about it. I man. honestly, no, I don't. I'm not thinking about it. It's happening. No, I want. I, I want kids. Well, you got to make it so, at least 18 years after. And I've got to quit wearing those condoms, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn it, yeah. <laughs> those things are neat. They're fun. You gotta <laughs> like roll them down the banana. <laughs> <laughs> You find yourself a a, a a nice frisky lady, she'll roll it down with her mouth. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, man. All right. Well, oh, yeah. We're, we're, know, we're 100% candid that's, here, that's, baby. That's where we at right now. Uh, yeah, that's what you get for a week off. You know, you're getting all this rawness out yeah. here. Yeah. Wow. Uh, friends, facts, and fiction. How are you feeling, uh, Justin? Corporation. I'm feeling good, man. I'm, I'm great. Uh, I was a little down. Uh, I was a little sickly. Um, like the last episode, I was feeling a little sick. Um, just tired these days. Been working a lot, but other than that, I'm good, man. Uh, me and my lady are doing doing well, doing great. Um, you know, just trying to focus on being an adult. Yeah, yeah it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. It's odd. Cutting back on wild. It's funny. Shit, our but... our our generation's adulthood starts at about thirty. Oh well, yeah, thirty five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm Gucci, man. Just out here thogging, thogging and bugging. You know what I'm saying? Out here killing and trilling. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. That's how we do it. No, how, how about yourself, Grandma? Well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm off of probation. There you go. Hey-o! That's pretty Cheers cool. Cheers to that. Actually, I haven't gotten a chance to talk about this on uh, on air, so to say. <laughs> so great. Um, probation officer says... When your court date is coming up, I will reach out to you Mm -hmm. and let you know if you need to be in court or not. Mm -hmm. You did really well with probation, so you probably won't have to be. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you know either way. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I'm on uh, a job site. We're kind of wrapping up for the day, discussing like what tomorrow looks like, blah, blah, blah. And I decide to check my emails, and I got an email from... Someone that's not my probation officer, but it has like the same little tag at the end of the email, you know, Nashville.gov or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. And, and it just says a uh, uh, certificate of completion. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. And then I look at it, nothing in the body of the email but a PDF. <clears throat> and I click on the PDF and it is certificate of completion of probation. Right, I read over it, everything looks mm-hmm. official as fuck. It's got a little fun seal. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're done. I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's like 5.15 at this point, so I know my probation officer is not going to answer. Yeah. Next yeah, yeah. morning, I call her, and she was like, oh, yeah, great. I guess you're done. <laughs> no, like, ah! like she just found out. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, didn't you see me email, bitch? Or didn't, no, that wasn't you. Was like, okay, okay, cool. Okay, well, um, what do I need to do moving forward from here? Because, you know, stuff like the restricted license and the special insurance mm-hmm. and the fucking bullshit piece of shit ass motherfucker box in my truck. You still have that? Yeah. And uh, yeah. so. <laughs> She's like, right, right. It looks at it. I was like, well, okay. So I'm seeing something here about your um, uh, community service. Yeah. I'm like, mm, no, nope. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wrong file. Wrong file. Hold on. <laughs> nope. No Pulls community up service. My file. It was like, yeah, no, you're done. That's why I sent you that email. 
Depends like, what? You did. Yeah, there's no way you did. It took so much for me to be like, bitch, <laughs> you did not send me that email, and you were just looking at the wrong motherfucking file. This is my life. Mm. I know you have a lot of cases, but come <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, just a my little shit. bit here. But care know? about those cases that you have. Just a little bit. Yeah. And... <laughs> So apparently I can now go to the DMV, get a regular license back. And then, um, according to her, I can get the bullshit ass piece of shit, motherfucking fucker box out of my truck, December 3rd. Okay. There you go. That's not bad. I've had a lot of questions as to why that can't happen immediately from friends and family. Mm -hmm. Um, cause it's a separate company and the requirement on that is 364 days from date of installation it has nothing to do yeah, with, with your, your actual shit. probation. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's a third party company that is fake as fuck. Yeah. And yep. they're just that's making some money. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, they're just, that's, big that's just bullshit for them. Yeah. It's a so big racket. I got, I couldn't help myself. Uh, it's, it's like $70 by the way, but I got a breathalyzer, thing a little mm-hmm. little tiny, tiny keychain key yeah. breathalyzer uh <laughs> that like connects to your smartphone i got it for 70 dollars just more out of curiosity than anything else but to test it against the box in my truck yeah and just to have yeah because yeah, i yeah. never ever want to repeat this no, you know what no. i mean yeah, yeah, if yeah, i decide yeah, yeah. to go out and i have my vehicle with me and i decide to have a drink i'm going to make sure that i'm good yeah to get home right yeah. legally right. and safely of course yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i've been checking it and what it says is very different from what my bullshit ass box says <laughs> of course. it's of the course. craziest thing i've ever seen i'll take the little thing and and uh uh if for anybody that doesn't know that box if it is above point zero two, you cannot start your vehicle mm-hmm. and so if i have I've had a couple of drinks now. I've started drinking again, everybody. And um I'll blow into the little keychain one that I bought. I'm like, okay, good, we're good. And I've blown into the box and it says that I'm not good. And then it makes me wait. Yeah. And I'll blow into it again and then it reads a zero. Flat up and what? down. Yeah. Zero point zero zero zero. It's basically just shooting crap. And I'll shooting crap check the life. little like, keychain oh. thing I got and it says a zero point one four or something. Wow, that's a big difference. Yeah, yeah slightly. Difference. Like what the fuck? It's also a big difference if you get pulled over and you're trusting this box to say that you're good, and then said officer makes you bow and it's not good, and it's like, well, this box told me it was good. My truck couldn't have started it if it wasn't right? good. So <laughs> right? how the fuck are we here now? So it's a whole racket to this shit, but it's fucking nuts. Mm. Man. It's insane, but, man. Yeah, and so, the end of the day, don't drink and drive. Please. Tennessee, get your goddamn do money. Do not drink and drive, and if you do get in trouble, just fucking ride it out. Do everything by the number, and uh, seriously, cross all your T's, dot all your I's, because they, I, I swear I am probably being a little paranoid but i think that they're trying oh, to yeah. catch me yeah. trying yeah. to keep me yeah. in it a yeah, little bit longer you're fresh off they're trying to get you to that's more money in. that's more money for them in. every time well yes. and that's honestly what happened to me yeah. like uh they they knew that as soon as you get that like and for people who don't know which you don't know if you're listening uh about my life um Thirteen, and, uh, 13 people. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All, all you 13 <laughs> people out there, just listen. <laughs> um, it's 17 people, Drew. 17. That's a huge difference. I don't think I can make, make that up. Yeah. I, I don't think that I can like it's account, for, account for those other four people. <laughs> could be anybody. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Sorry. He's but anyways, now. He's what nervous. I was saying. <clears throat> Uh, was <laughs> keep your like like he was saying keep your shit in check like um I I didn't have an issue with with the 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 blow into the device machine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did have an issue because my name was in the system that was not fun but uh like he was saying do your due diligence and like look into this shit don't just like believe what everyone's told you 
And by everyone, I mean um, the powers that be. And it's not the yams, but the actual <laughs> powers that be. Um, uh, like, nice. like not the yams. That was good. That the was powers good. that be aren't the yams. They are. They are. <laughs> but they're really not. Right, right. So you got to wrap your yeah. you got to wrap your mind around that mm-hmm. too. But don't fucking believe what they tell you. You're don't believe even even down to your lawyers. Like like that shit's going to be fucking over convoluted so they can make more money. That's why they Most got their time. their degree in that field. That's why these cops made all D's in high school and told you that. Uh well, they made all D's in high school because they're a bunch of fucking retards. And I'm going to use that uh, non-PC word, uh, retard. Uh, and, and when you hear me say retard, I only mean police. So when I say retard, <laughs> that's where that fills in. Um, so you listen to those people, <clears throat> you retards out there, um, to fill in your information that is completely incorrect right. to fill their pockets. Fuck you. Police, that is, and everyone who stands behind you, police, that is. Um, all cops are bad. I don't stand behind that necessarily, but all cops are shit. I, I'm, I'm a, a, a cos. <laughs> I stand behind that one because okay. um, you guys suck. All right. So well, have well, fun. Uh, I do have to say I have been <laughs> pleasantly surprised by some good police officer experiences. Yeah, because they had to get rid of the all all the shitty ones around here because <laughs> yeah. they're I fucking mean, sending people to jail for a fucking grandma wig. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, anyway, um, we're going to sign these hot facts. Before it gets too hot. <laughs> yeah, all these hot takes out here. Um, do you got a song of the day? You say you had a song I do. Of the day? I do have a song what's, of the day. What's the song of the day be? I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to play it. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to flash over. All right, here we go. Do it. Flash over uh-huh. now and go. I'm the scat man. That's all okay. you get for yeah, free. Yeah, that, that was so hey. good, man. <laughs> Always good vibes from the scat man's out. <laughs> you know, it kind of makes me. I just remember oh now. God. I <laughs> was doing, in, in my personal opinion, a very, very good rendition of Scat Man. Mm-hmm. And nobody responded. When? Nobody responded in kind. When was that? Was this? Yeah, it was probably at the bar. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I'd imagine. <laughs> So it's like a bunch of strangers looking at me like I'm crazy. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I know you know this song. And eh. I just did a really good job. Eh. I mean. A lot of cats at the bar these days are born in like 98, 99. You want to give me like a little more than this that you give me right now? You know? Mm. Not, but it does make me feel a little bit better because genius is usually not acknowledged. Oh, in the no. time. Yeah, you know. there you right. go. Well, there, there, and see, and then there's <laughs> that. And there's, there's some facts for you right there, people. Uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, let's <laughs> on these hot facts about the Greenland shark. So, somniosis, <laughs> microcephalus, okay. is who we're talking about today, okay. which is the Greenland shark. Okay. It belongs to a family of sharks called sleeper sharks. Mm. So I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get me some of this micro penis. Got it. Yeah. So they're um, uh, alongside their micro penis. Uh-huh. They move s- slowly and stealthily through the water. Which I don't know about their micro penis. I think Grant just made that up. But um, symbiosis microphallus. <laughs> Microcephalus. Oh, microcephalus. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. I heard microphallus. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Microcephalus. So mm. sorry. Never yeah, mind. yeah. That would have made the great whites a little happier, but no, no. Yeah. That is cephalus, not phallus. No, okay. no, that'll be all right. 
They're the longest living vertebrates on the world. Ooh. On the world. On it. Or animals with backbones surviving for up to hundreds of years in the deep, cold waters of the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans. Nice. So hundreds. That's vague. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, oh, good. Oh, good. Greenland sharks are among the biggest sharks in the world. They grow up to 24 feet or 7.3 meters long and weigh up to 2,645 pounds, 1,200 kilograms. That's even bigger. No. <laughs> According to the St. Lawrence Shark Observatory, ORS, that's longer than great white sharks, which are estimated to grow 20 feet, you know, mm -hmm. um, with unconfirmed reports suggested they can reach 20 feet in length, according to the Florida Museum of Natural History. I love that shit. Even in science, we're doing the uh, the fisherman's game. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, well, we don't know shit about the ocean no. or what lives in there. And I just love that, that we're like, yeah, this is the biggest in recorded history but some people have said, <laughs> yeah, but, but somebody said that they're maybe they're even bigger. I think they're big. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, he said he saw a bigger one. Mm -hmm. So he but. caught one this big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fed a whole family. Yeah. Shit crazy. Uh, so Greenland sharks have cylindrical bodies, like a like a tuna can, but long. You know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> That can be black, brown, gray, or a mixture of all three colors and may have spots. Oh, mm, neat. Like leopard spots, cow um, spots? Just little spots. Just little spots. Just little spots. The shark spots. Oh, freckles. They don't need to be, they don't need to be leopards or, you know. They Dalmatians or anything. They're yeah. just sharks with spots. Can't sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm putting them in a the box. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to box. box. Yeah, Get yeah. them out of the box. They live in the ocean. <laughs> These sharks also have uh, teeth-like scales called dermal denticles. Not tentacles, but denticles. That is my favorite word so far today. Right? Dermal denticles. Covering the surface of their body, the, the scales reduce drag and help the sharks move more silently through the water, according hmm. to ORS. Um, a Greenland shark's mouth <laughs> contains 48 to 58 teeth in its upper jaw. And 50 to 52 teeth in its lower jaw. Mm. The upper teeth are pointed to help the shark hold on to it. It's, it's, they're the barbs that hold on to the food. Right. Mm -hmm. um, while the lower teeth are wide and curved sideways mm. from all the other teeth. Interesting. So essentially, they just bite something, hold on to it, shake, and, and turn into a it. saw. Yeah, yeah. Shook, shook, shook. Unimpressed. Unimpressed. Ocean parasites called Omatokiata Ilongata Omatokiata Ilongata mm -hmm. are often attached to the eyes of Greenland sharks. Huh. The parasite. Oh, yeah, I've seen those things. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're little okay. wormy little dills. Yeah, those little are okay as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I can't do yeah. eye things, man. Uh, that's rough. <laughs> the little blah blah. So uh, the parasites tend to live in just one of these shark's eyes. But this can still render the shark partially blind, obviously, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because the sharks rely more on their more on all of their other senses. This really doesn't mess with them at all. Yeah, like it's, the, it's 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 more. Deep, bro. Yeah, and no light down there nowhere. So Greenland sharks' <laughs> exact lifespan is unknown, but they are considered the longest living sharks mm. and the longest living vertebrates in the world. A 2016 study of the shark's eye tissue published in the journal uh, uh, Science. The journal is just called Science. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what's well, with the journal? Science? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Is that not just a tangible thing? Just science? Yeah, no, yeah. no, it's journal called Science. science. Anyway, estimated that Greenland <laughs> sharks have a maximum <laughs> lifespan of at least 200, at least 272 years. Damn, turn up. Uh, okay, now I'm impressed. Right. Are you fucking kidding me? 272 years is their minimum. That's, That's America. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One shark. Holy shark. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, researchers estimate the oldest Greenland shark um, 
that was studied was about 392 years old. That's yeah, more crazy. than America. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, but the estimate had a large margin of error of 120 years, which mm. led to speculation of the Greenland sharks could live to 512 years old. That's Holy crazy. Holy fucking shit. That's wild, 512. Man. Real Five. quick. I know we love to talk about on this podcast about how, like, numbers get skewed, especially mm-hmm. in history and everything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But to be fair, if you're 85 years old, say you're 85 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to miss a couple of years here and there, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then so granddaughter is going to be like, no, you're 87. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. Okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. That doesn't mean shit to me. Yeah. I'm 85. I'm like, no, you're 87. <laughs> I just said you're 87. You know? <laughs> okay, no. fine, I'm 87. If you're talking about 272 years, yeah. I I don't have that big of an issue of losing about 100 of those years. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 100 years, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're talking centuries here, bro. I mean, <laughs> That's all that was. Decades, centuries. 100 years. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. That's chump change. Yeah, Sorry. That's what it is. I forgot that several <laughs> I forgot the 1900s. Decades, yeah, you know? <laughs> it happened. I mean, shit. Let's see that trains and shit. I was going through a phase. Uh, Sorry. You're it was right. the 80s. <laughs> it was a lot of coke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, but anyway, uh, Greenland sharks live in the slow lane. Mm-hmm. With a top swimming speed of less than 1.8 miles per hour. Mm. Think about that. Well, he's 300 years old, man. Give him some fucking slack. That's probably why. He's chilling. It's probably why. Slow. You know? It's they steady. also grow slowly at less than 0.4 inches per year. Damn. That's crazy. And have slow metabolisms, according to Noah the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which NOAA is on top of all kinds of shit. Like, if you guys aren't hip to fucking NOAA, get hip real quick. NOAA, baby. Yep. Scientists don't yet know how Greenland sharks live this long, but they're pretty sure it has to do with how slow they move and how slow their metabolisms are. Of course. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sloths live to, like, you know... 150 years old. You Do know? they? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> they don't. It's like 30 Why? years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sloths sloss are like... He was going for it. He went for it. Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was about to give you a fun fact, but um, <laughs> I fell off the side. It's okay. Well, you know. So <laughs> they live in the Arctic and North Atlantic <laughs> Oceans from North America to Greenland and from Portugal to the East Siberian Sea. According to the International Union of Conservation and Nature, the IUCN, um, the sharks have a large range and can be fed or uh, can be found swimming from the surface down to the depths of eight thousand six hundred and eighty-four <laughs> feet. Jesus That's Christ! Crazy. Yeah. So you're talking about like homeboys just chilling on right. a continental shelf. Honestly. That is one of my research studies, is that they are found resting on continental shelves. That's so cool. The only shark known to man to stop. To just chill. Just like, boop, we good. I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stops, and he goes, that's a shelf. He's chilling. I'm going to take a little quick nap on this shelf. my sharks. I got to keep moving to stay alive. Right, right. But this motherfucker's just chilling. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to take him a little nap. Right. Oh, gee. A little shelf nap. So, Greenland sharks' babies are called pups. They're called pups? A little, little, little pups. They're called pups. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. The Greenland shark gives birth between 200 and 324 pups per pregnancy. Damn. What? Depending on the size of the shark. That's fucking Greenland wild. shark pups are just 14 to, six, or 14 to 18 inches. Hmm. When they're born, and they can get up to you said twenty four twenty four feet. feet. God damn, that's kind of a but leap. They only grow point four inches a, a year. year, right? So well, that when you're around for makes... two three centuries, mm-hmm. give or take, a so they, they years. don't stop growing. No, no, they're one of those things that just grow to their environment. Okay, 
Yeah. And they just they, and they just keep growing until they die. And that's, that's kind of nuts for a, a vertebrate mm-hmm. creature. From, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking wild. Well. So they have also varied uh, diets that include fish, other sharks, eels, and marine mammals. 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 Such as seals. Mm. Look at that. They have also <laughs> been found with drowned land animals, including horses <laughs> and reindeer, <laughs> in their stomachs. Hold on. I was literally about to make a joke about how big fucking deal eating just fish and eels and seals. Whatever. But <laughs> they ate a horse. And a reindeer. <laughs> they ate a reindeer. Feeding yeah. together on the we remains of no. wells and fish. Killing <laughs> during commercial whaling and fishing. Okay, so also <laughs> another thing that popped up in my research is... Okay, we got more. One of them regurgitated a full polar bear. Damn. Like a, a intact. No, no, no. Whole, yep, yep. Whole polar bear. <laughs> they like taste. whole ass polar bear. Does he engulf that motherfucker? Coca Cola bottle and all. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you Coca Cola bear. Merry Christmas, bitch. Hold on, so this is. They're anti Christmas. That's what I'm getting off of. Nate Reindeer and Coca Cola Bear. My fucking Santa Claus gonna be next. <laughs> Elves better watch out. They get like, especially the elf on the shelf. Yeah, he had, he's gonna go mm. eat the elf on the shelf. Take a nap, <laughs> real slow. Take a nap on the shelf. You know? And the elf is chilling. It's a shelf sleeper. It's a shelf napper anyway. <laughs> elf is in the way. Yeah. So we gonna slide. On <laughs> so scientists you know found I mean? a shark with uh, the jaw of a young polar bear in its stomach. Um, retro reporter in Reuters. Night, retro sporters. So that was 2008. <laughs> uh, right. But right. apparently, it was after they looked at it, it was a it was, it was dead before he ate it. You know, oh, um, I just found one just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've found polar bear muscle tissue and everything like, but they found a whole fucking. Goddamn polar bear in one of these motherfuckers. It's crazy, man. Which is insane. <laughs> like I said earlier, they are the only shark to kind of rival the great white as far as other than like whale yeah. sharks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm, but right. whale sharks aren't invasive on any kind of environment other than maybe uh, shrimp or, you know, uh, anything krill. like that. Like, like krill. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, krill, no. The plankton. krill are going to swim away. Mm. Ah. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Um, Greenland sharks are near the top of the food chain, though. That's real. Next to the sperm whale. Because the sperm whale intakes so much, yeah, it yeah. kind of, like, all, all it has to do is open its mouth. And, and it's just, just like, <laughs> and there it goes half the food chain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are no verified reports of Greenland shark attacks on human. That's good. However, some anecdotal evidence suggests that such attacks could occur. Uh, eating bears out here, bro. I mean, like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> well, they've also been known to like, um, so their main way of, of hunting is happen upon it. Mm. Just like, oh, what's up? Or yeah, ambush. Scavengers. Yeah. And scavenger. Yeah. yeah. So well, they swim so slow. They swim so I mean, slow that they don't cause like, it's not like, and they don't have like a dorsal there, fin or whatever, yeah. like a, like a, a great white. Yeah. So like they're swimming up in the Arctic, some seals just chilling about on some ice patches, just, and and they're just oh, like, what's that on my tail? Oh my uh, god, I'm, uh, I'm getting swallowed. Right what, now. What's what, happening? what 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 what? But right. they will come up and just like poke their heads up and go, <laughs> oh, to um, them. Um, and just drag them down, <laughs> and it's just like, and slowly too, like the seals like. <laughs> Shit. And they're just like, no, man, we're going down here, brother. What an agonizing <laughs> death, bro. That's crazy. And what was it? The uh, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's uh, if, if you guys uh, ever watched the that movie, the Greenland shark is the shark in that movie that's just the <laughs> shark. And they keep making that as he goes, but yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the Greenland shark. There you go. Um, Hot facts. Uh, a Greenland shark was reportedly found with a human leg in its stomach off Canada's 
Baffin Island around mm. 1859. Oh, shit. But the report was not there. still alive, bro. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, (laughs) let's get into, we've got these Greenland sharks. They're such a problem or not because they're so slow. Can we eat them? Mm, Probably not. Who knows? That's what I was thinking. You know, I mean, Mm. man, chop them up, eat them like uh, the fucking Chinese and Japanese do, you cocksuckers. Um, untreated Greenland shark meat <laughs> what? is toxic to humans. <laughs> it's toxic? As it contains high levels of trimethylamine oxide, TMAO, which breaks down into poisonous trimethylamine mm. compound yeah. during digestion. According to a 1991 study published by a journal, by the journal Toxicon, TMA can cause, yeah, yeah, I I, I subscribe to that, yeah. Yeah, TMA can cause severe intestinal problems and produce similar effects to excessive alcohol consumption. Oh, shit. It can make you fucking drunk. Did you eat a Greenland shark? Oh, shit. Do you remember eating a Greenland shark? I am Norse. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe it's just my bloodline. Anyway, uh, (laughs) Greenland shark meat is edible only when dried. So like, like, they like jerky. They they yeah. fig, so what like they did is they they, they mm-hmm. figured out how how you can eat it, and this is by a fuck ton of Norsemen dying eating <laughs> Greenland shark. Well, that makes so sense. You got this giant. I don't ass thing I don't have this in my slow, notes. And you're like, oh, let me kill that because that's an easy kill, mm-hmm. and it's huge. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna eat it. Um, um, um. Oh shit, he died. Uh oh. <laughs> well, he got so much meat left. Oh shit! He what do you want to try and do? <laughs> we should just eat it. <laughs> so what they did? Um, last resort. <laughs> this isn't in my notes, but um, what they did is they would bury it for six to twelve weeks underground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They would pull it up, wash it off, ferment it again, mm-hmm. pull it up, wash it off, dry it out into like jerky, which would be cubes. It would, which, which to our jerky nowadays, not even jerky. It's like chewing on a piece of bark. At this sure. point, yeah, um, they could eat it, which right. was the only sustainable source. Like, uh, it, 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 you're fucking living in Iceland. You're not going to have much food anyway yeah, true. and can't grow shit. But this shit was killing people. They put it underground for a bunch of fucking long time. Let it fucking. Woo. It's essentially Norse kimchi. Mm. Look at that. Viking gotcha. kimchi. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at that. That's something. That's an angle. <laughs> Well, you know. I got to do what you got to do is five out here. It's oh, only- well, they used it to feed their sled dogs more than anything. No, well, there's that. Yeah. Okay, that's risky. I got to say. Yeah. Because if, if Jim died over here, you're going to feed it to old, old Bobo. Well, like- <laughs> because Bobo is going to get you to point Some, B. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's tough. Mm-hmm. It's tough out there. Mm-hmm. You need your sled dogs more than you need your buddy. I'm, no. I'm just saying. More like, than you need your musher. <laughs> yeah, your sled like, dogs will just go. <laughs> they'll just run. <laughs> Big facts. Big Don't facts. be feeding them the trash meat. Mm-mm. Damn. But it's also, um, after it's fermented, it's now a delicacy in Iceland. Ooh. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Yeah. We should not. Um, the IUCN. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I might too. I'm going to try it. I have to. I'm a chef. Uh, the IUCN <laughs> considers Greenland sharks to be vulnerable to extinction. Oh. Obviously. I mean, for real, though. I mean, the way that things are changing, I don't even have to read all this shit, but I will. Humans killed Greenland sharks for their uh, liver oil to use in lamps and other mm-hmm. productions between the 13th and 20th centuries. Yeah. The commercial fishing of Greenland sharks for their oil ended in the 1960s which helped their population. However, Greenland shark continue to be caught and killed as bycatch. Mm -hmm. Bycatch is what is killing this planet. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and just say that as like a fact. that's true. I mean, everybody freaks out about dolphins because they're cute and stuff and they go on stickers because they were dying in bycatch, you know. Mm -hmm. But everything's dying in bycatch now. Exactly, yeah. Or, you know, uh, uh, bycatch is, is... for you stupid fucks out there. Um, bycatch is stuff that's it's caught. That Excuse me for being so angry today. 
Um, but I don't care. Um, it's, it's, you're fishing for tuna. You throw out a net, you catch your tuna. What are these other fish? Those are the bycatch. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, essentially everything that's fished for is, is being fucked right now. However, Greenland sharks continue to be caught and killed as by, uh, bycatch or animals that get pulled up by fishers alongside, like I said, in large nests dragged along the bottom of the ocean floor intended to catch a larger number of fish. Most of Greenland sharks eaten by humans and fed to dogs come from bycatch, although some sharks are targeted on a small scale. Not many, though, because not a lot of people know about these yeah, sharks. Of course. And a lot of people mistake them for great whites because of their size, yeah. although they have the stumpy nose. The Northwest Atlantic Fisheries Organization, NAFO, NAFA, Intergovernmental Fishing Science and Management Body prohibits the direct fishing of Greenland sharks and seeks to reduce bycatch. The NAFO applies to uh, most fisheries in the North at, uh, Northwest Atlantic Ocean and includes countries such as the U.S. and Canada. Look at that. Yeah. The IUCN estimates that the Greenland shark population has declined by 30% to 49% over the past 450 years, or three shark generations. Oh, damn. I was just about to say, <laughs> yeah. crazy. that's actually kind of high, uh, <laughs> based off of my calculations. <laughs> I think that's just a father and son, but yeah, yeah. we can say grandpa. That's yeah, yeah. Grandpa shark. <laughs> oh, no, don't, I, baby shark bullshit. However, <laughs> this decline was nice. estimated based on a conservative Greenland shark lifespan of 150 years. The decline could be much higher if sharks have longer lifespans. Like I said before, they can live up to 516-ish. That's what they think, yeah. yeah. And are, you still, are you still fucking at that point? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, you come asexual. I have to think that <laughs> Greenland shark menopause occurs around like 200 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Midlife crisis, 150. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's like, true, though. That's when no. he's getting the Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's trying to swim three miles per trying hour. Trying to impress the, the mermaids, you know? You know? The, get the timeshare <laughs> down in Orlando. I know. And then he realizes, oh, shit, the water's way too hot and too shallow. Yeah, yeah. 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 No the vibes. So <laughs> when um, in the summer... They obviously kind of chill like a mid-range, whatever. Um, they live usually, like I said before, about 2,200 feet below the surface. Mm -hmm. In the winter, oddly enough, this is not going to be any of the notes. Bang, bang. That's the sound of In the computer winter, closing. Yeah. He's going um, off script, people. He's going, going off, off script. script. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> in the winter, they go to the surface. Instead mm -hmm. of like vice versa for the summer, it's cold with like dolphins yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But the surface level of water, uh, like the temperature surface level, is actually colder in winter on the surface than it is at the bottom of the yeah. ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is weird. That's yeah. why they move up. Right. Yeah, they just transcend yeah, yeah. to like, you know. It's fucking dope. They're weird. That's some weird motherfuckers, man. Honestly, I've <coughs> truly never heard of these. Well, animals, I mean, and so. they, have, um, they have a chemical called. Fuck, what is it? Look it up. Yeah. Um, that acts as a natural antifreeze for them. Oh, wow. Like, they literally, like, they have a chemical that's produced by right. their body. Right. That's almost like bioluminescence and stuff like that for, like, yeah. like yeah, for the, for the, there's the other, depth like, livers. Uh, deep, deep fish. Deep <laughs> ocean, <laughs> north, uh, oceanic, mm -hmm. uh, aquatic species that have similar situations going on. And it's essentially just a bacteria that lives in them. To do... Do they know the population size of the sharks? No, the population size was, um, they thought it was around 600 about uh -huh. 10 years ago. Oh, that's and they rough. think that it's like uh, around the 200s now. That's really rough. They well, don't have, there's not many. And, and like, it's not like you can just go like. hard to find. I it's mean, not like, and it's also. <laughs> I mean, maybe like. Well, shit. I mean. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it's also like a thing like we can't just go catch them and like make them fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if we catch them, we gotta do, uh, dig a hole to like halfway down the fucking earth. Yeah, mm -hmm. before they're actually comfortable. Specific. Like the right. darkness, the right. the actual the 
the chemical that they produce darkness. that that you guys are darkness. gonna have to look up and I'm not opening my computer back up again. <laughs> um it's not only a natural antifreeze, but it helps out with the um the pressure uh, when they go deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It relieves that. Yeah. So it also it relieves that and acts as an antifreeze. So they can like like we said, we know shit about our ocean. One of the reasons why I want to be a geologic yeah. oceanographer yeah. is because like mapping the ocean floor, mm-hmm. um, Marianas Trench, stuff like that, like stuff we will never know, not in our lifetime, yeah. at least. These creatures are living down there. Mm-hmm. And that's like, Chilling. they're like norm. When they come up here, they're like, fuck. It's mm-hmm. fucking hot up yeah. here, man. They can't survive in it, bro. No. It's like a different planet. It's pretty dope, though. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious, but Climate change is yeah. also climate change is detrimental yeah. to to every single other specifically oceanic creature. You know, I mean, the way we're watching these coral reefs die, yeah, mm-hmm. bleaching. That's yeah. just the surface level uh, canary in the coal mine. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. you seeing these guys bleaching out and dying because reefs are alive, mm-hmm. as we should know. Everything around it is also hurting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And something that's relying on pretty uh, steady um, current temperatures and and seasonal uh, temperature changes in deep water and, and everything like that. It, it's, I don't know. I was making the real dark joke just the other day that uh, our grandkids are going to be very, very uncomfortable yeah. by the time that they get to grandparent age. Uh, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro. For sure. And we're seeing things now that won't be seen yeah. again. Yeah. Well, just, Honestly, just in the time that I've lived here. The so, life animals and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I moved here in 2013, moved back to Alabama in 2015, came back in 2018. The entire time that I was here, it was always 10 degrees difference between Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and here. Yeah, it's about the same. It's now. one degree difference yeah. now. Mm-hmm. I know. One yeah. degree difference. Yeah, we're supposed to be further in the mountains up here, but like it's all the same, damn near, for like a whole region. Mm-hmm. So it's weird. Strange. Yeah. Things it's are getting, getting a little getting weird. weird, bro. <laughs> 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 Mr. Meezy don't usually yeah. live this long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's some hot facts on the Greenland shark for your own entertainment. Look oh, oh wait, 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 wait. This is the, the, the Greenland shark mating call. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We need that sound Didn't mean to interrupt ASAP. you, Justin. Uh, I exposed myself. Look at me. Look at me. Look at what I've got. Wow. What? Okay. Well, that's that's interesting. That's, Is that's, that? That's an interesting piece of information that you needed to share to the world. What the fuck? Where did that come from? I'm glad you got that off your chest, man. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this what the this is what the meeting was about before the podcast? No, nice. not at all. Uh, anyway. Like I said, it's about new husband stuff. He just got married. We wanted to talk about husbands. And yeah, things. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't know that was I happening. Exposed myself. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Look at what I've got, Justin. All right, we get it. Yeah, yeah. We we know what you, you got. needed to say that the first time, and I find that odd. But to repeat yourself? Oh my god! I can't with you, fucker. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, um, yeah, so <laughs> Got I was so not ready for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, facts on the Greenland shark. Thank y'all for tuning in. You can support us at um, anchor.fm backslash friends facts fiction, yeah, yeah, Instagram, definitely. Facebook, all the bullshit. Uh, look us up. We love y'all. Hope y'all are doing well. You're beautiful. You can do anything you fucking want to do. In this world. You're not beautiful. Um, <laughs> and. I'm just Namas, and I'm saying love the five because it's worth living, y'all. <laughs> I'm Drew Shelnut, and I'm saying Al. I, I legit thought he was just gonna end it. I really <laughs> thought. Like, no, yeah. no, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try an outro, bro. I really thought he wasn't gonna give this an outro. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, it's all right. Whatever. <sighs> oh, Grant Bramlett here. That's my name. My name is Grant Bramlett. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> If you like Greenland sharks, I always loved you. (laughs) 
if you caught one and then ate it and then your homie died and then you were like, well, maybe we'll just feed it to the sled dog. I never liked you. Mm. Because, again, dogs are better than people. Also, you really need your sled dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's really important. They're detrimental. Yeah. 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 In this climate change world, yeah. we really need these sled dogs. Ain't no choo-choo trains anyway, in the Arctic. Um, this has been a podcast called Friends, Facts, and Fiction. And we out. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next installment. Find us on Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date on all things Friends, Facts, and Fiction. Our Instagram handle is friends underscore facts underscore fiction. As always, please reach out to us. You can send any of your questions, praise, and fact-checking to friends period facts period fiction at gmail.com. It's important to us to only propagate the truth, and we'll correct any errors we may have made. Your hosts and researchers are Justin Hammonds, Grant Bramlett, and Drew Shellnut. Our episodes are produced by Grant Bramlett. Additional producership provided by Grace Higgs. Our recording engineer is Grant Bramlett. Our editor, mix, and mastering audio engineer is Jeremy Mulder. Lighting design is provided by Justin Hammonds. Our office assistants are Gully and Bull. Our research assistants are Under and Paid. Our current interns are Lost and Questionable. Our personal drivers are Idlist and Tired. And our resident pooches are Pack and Jolene. The Devil Child. This has been a production of Friends, Facts, and Fiction. Marsupials. Yeah, that's that's where marsupials live. Mm. Mm-hmm. They don't live anywhere else. They're leader in marsupials, guys. Do they live anywhere else? <laughs> Not really. Other than possums. I mean, they live other places. Possums, most of them live possums are marsupials. Yeah, most of them live in Australia. Yeah, yeah, we got possums. We have possums. Yeah. That's, and and they that's have, it. They have everything else that kills the world. <laughs> oh, kills humans. <laughs> yeah. They, they, 